Hello everybody, um, on this wet, windy morning here in sunny Southwold, um, which isn't so sunny. We've got heavy cloud cover for the next two or three days and rain pretty much all day today, apart from a short spell without being cold as well. It's only 11 degrees, but you know, this is usual for the time of year, especially where we live, right against the sea itself. Um, we always get these northerly set in through April or May, some point for two or three weeks. Everybody moans about it, reckon that's a new thing. That ain't, that's been doing it most years now. Um, quick update on my shoulder. Um, as you can see, it's dropped. Uh, although apparently that could be normal. I don't know. I might be able to pull it. I'm getting movement back into it. It's been exactly two weeks since I broke it. Um, it's doesn't it's not painful to the touch anymore now but it is painful inside if I move it wrong I can now get dressed unattended I managed to get my socks on today for the first time in two weeks which is quite nice um, so uh, the missus is at work so I managed to get myself washed and changed this is on my own today without her help um, which is uh, one of the dignity things that I must admit I struggle with uh, apart from that, um, yeah, I'm on the mend. I'm hopefully going to have one more week of this boredom and then I'm going to be back to work in some form or other. That's if I can get round my manager. The owner of the company has said he's perfectly happy as long as I sign a bit of paper to um, basically cut my sickness note short by a week. Um, but whether I can get round my manager, Nikki or not, will be a different thing. I mean, she's a lovely woman, uh, don't get me wrong. Um, couldn't ask for a better person, but she is a little bit on the risk averse side. But we'll see, we'll see. I, if I've got to persuade her somehow, or if I come back part time or limited hours, I'll have to do something because I'm going bloody gaga here. Uh, I can't paint the shed because it's wet. I've got an outside tap to put on. I can't do that because it's wet and I ain't got the right drill. So I'm gonna have to go work to pick up my SDS drill. Um, so I'm sort of sitting here today. I've just got to go. I've just changed the. Uh, we just renewed our passports, ready to go in September, because for some reason uh, TUI uh, won't accept any passports less than six months left, which is rubbish because you can travel right up to the day of expiry by law. But apparently some companies, three to six months is their limit. So we've had to rush around and uh, we're going to sort our passports out. So I've just got to post the old ones off, which I'll do this morning. Yeah, so cut long story short, yeah, I am on the mend. It's going to be a while yet, yeah, I mean... We were going on the 17th of May to Yorkshire for a riding holiday with the e-bikes. Um, take them in the van and then we were going to do like 20, 40 miles a day just around the Yorkshire Dales and uh, the east coast of Yorkshire. That is sort of knocked on the head now as far as the e-bikes concerned. Even if I'm healed up enough to ride, my bones won't be hard enough, fit, won't have fully healed. In which case, I only got to fall off the bike and I'll be back to square one again. So I daren't even do that. So we're going to have a walking holiday instead. Um, so we'll do the same thing. We'll just go out on picnics every day and uh, we'll have a walking holiday. So the routes I've got planned now are based on uh, uh, where we can walk to and what sites or what see. So we'll still take the van because in the back of the van we can put various things. Where the van is handy, it's like when you're in the middle of nowhere, and I know you you, you young ladies um, especially struggle to find toilets especially to go to the loo, um, which I understand, you know, and it's not very pleasant to have to squat in a bush if you're a, if you're a woman. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, yeah, men can just pee up against the hedge and that. So it is handy being able to take the uh, fold-up commode with us and bung in the back of the van, and I've got a light in the back of the van, so that doubles as a uh, toilet. For the missus, really. Um, I don't mind, but uh, at least then we can go a bit further afield and not have to worry about being near pubs or villages or anywhere where we love to have to find a toilet, um, which is quite a handy thing about having a van. And also I can take some more comfortable chairs and various other bits and pieces, you know, so if we want to sit and have a coffee, I can get the stove out and fire it up and all that sort of thing. So it gives you a lot, lot, lot more. And the other thing about vans is they're more comfortable than a car at the end of the day. You sit more upright, you're higher up. Um, I, I can go for miles in my van and I don't get backache or nothing. Car tend to bounce around and the suspension is harder. Um, you know, I don't know, uh, it's something comfortable about a van, you know. I mean, I used to drive miles and miles and miles in my old transit and uh, never used to have a problem. So I might even be getting a transit, yeah. I've got my combo plus at the moment, but I'll, I might get for a transit next. 
so that's it. Yeah, that's an update on my shoulder. Um, if anybody's interested, uh, I'm going to do another video in a minute. I'm going to um, do another one of my, you know, visit Southwold videos. Try not to be too negative. <laughs> Trouble is, when you're a local and you live somewhere, you look at the place totally different to a visitor would. But, you know, I just don't like people being ripped off. But we'll see. And uh, thanks. Thanks for subscribing, everybody. And, uh, yeah. Till the next time. Goodbye.